In this example, I'm sending a request to the ChatGPT API. I'm selecting data from a successful response and logging that data to a console for more visibility. I can also create output blocks to visualize that data within a Postman flow canvas. Let's create a new output block by dragging and dropping and searching for output to display any data received from another block. Postman will automatically detect the data type uh, because we previously saved an example, or you can select from different data types here. And let's zoom out and run our flow. So when we run our flow, you can see that Postman kicks off our API calls, selects that data, and the first request comes back first just because that API returned a response first. So you can see the GPT-3 AI model requires 47 tokens and here's a response from the server compared to the GPT-4 model that takes more tokens and has a slightly different response from the server. Let's take a look at another example called Stock Market Dashboard. This particular flow uses a lot of output blocks. So if we zoom in here, we can see that there's a couple API calls being sent. And here's one output block. You can name your output block. And this one is taking markdown. So in this case, we have an API call. We're formatting that response in markdown and then displaying it in this output block. You can also do some additional business logic and evaluate information coming back from, in this case, an API, and then display it as a Boolean. Let's zoom over to the left. This example has another evaluate block that then displays a bar chart of highs and lows for top stocks today, and then passes that information along to a table. So a lot of different ways to visualize information that you receive from an API. You can compare and contrast from different blocks. Take a look at our output blocks in Postman Flows.